Good morning, my dear Dota lovers and those who don't love the game yet, but are getting to know it. I am the Maker. This video is recorded for those who just started to grasp the basics of Dota and are looking to better understand the game. We'll start from the very basics, and step by step we will advance further into the realm of Dota. Dota 2 is not an easy at all game to understand for a beginner. When I first started playing the first edition of the game, there were significantly less heroes and items to choose from than now. But even then I wasn't sure how to make the right choice. What to buy, what to level, and my brain was about to explode. Today we won't be talking strategies, item builds, or skill builds. We will focus on one of the things that has only changed once in the last few years if I recall correctly. We will talk about the map. There are three lanes which creeps run through the entire duration of the game. Initially, most of the important events happen on these three lanes. Bottom has now the lanes are as follows. The bottom lane, the mid lane, and the top lane. Now each side lane is either an easy lane or a hard lane. And why do we call them an easy lane or a hard lane? Well, if you look closely, you will see that there is an easy lane, which is near the jungle, which gives you the opportunity to control the lane via the neutral creep spawns that are on each side of the map. You can receive additional help from your jungler if your team has picked a jungler. Secondly, the first creep wave meets much closer to the ally tower than to the enemy's tower on the easy lane. So what is each lane used for? Well, it's most common to have two supports, one hard carry, one mid laner, and one hard laner. Now, we'll go into detail about the separate lords later on and their purpose in the next episode. Usually, the easy lane is for the hard carry. Supports are the ones in charge of pulling the neutral creeps and harassing the enemy hard laner. This allows the carry to free farm and be uncontested on his lane for the first few minutes of the game. The mid lane is usually used for gaining fast levels, that's why this lane is mostly for soloing. This way the mid lane hero gets more experience than the easy lane hero since he isn't sharing experience with the two supports. However, due to the lack of supports in the mid lane he's also really vulnerable to enemy ganks. Finally we have the hard lane. His task is to gather experience and gold but his main priority is not to die since he's versus two to three enemy heroes. If he does die, he will be giving away experience and gold to the enemy team. Those were a pretty general description of the lane setup, and they can differ from game to game. But in most cases, this is considered the most standard lane setup. In the next videos, we will go in depth with each lane and hero type. That's it for today. Peace, and remember to subscribe to Navi's YouTube.